It's time for the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher coming up on today's show. We'll take a look at the season opener as the Racers played at Louisville. And a big night for Mike Harris, leading the Racers with 116 yards in rushing. Also today, defensive improvement. The Racers played great defense against the Cardinals. We'll also go tailgating with the Racer fans at Papa John's Cardinal Stadium and look ahead to week two as the Racers travel to Mississippi Valley State. The Racer Report begins right now. And that will take us to game number two, Saturday down in Itabina, Mississippi. The Racers against Mississippi Valley State. It's a 4 p.m. kickoff uh, down in Mississippi, and it will be the first broadcast on the Racer Television Network. And we'll tell you a little bit more later on where you can see that game Saturday as the Racers hit the road again in this 2011 season. We're here at Stewart Stadium with head coach Chris Hatcher on the Racer Report. And uh, we're going to wrap up the first game of the season, a 21-9 loss to Louisville last Thursday. Get ready for Saturday's game in Mississippi Valley. Uh, Coach, great to get the season kicked off. Your, your initial thoughts on Thursday night. Dave, I was extremely pleased with the effort that our guys showed. Um, we, we talked about it um, earlier before the tape. And first game of the college season, what great publicity um, for Murray State and our football program. I think um, one interesting point is, it's, it's amazing how the perception of our programs changed in one short year. Um, everybody's upset we didn't win the game. And, um, you know, who would have thought that the way um, the program, you know, five, you know, 13 wins in mm -hmm. five years before we arrived and things of that nature. So that's a great compliment to the hard work of our staff and players. We played um, well for three quarters. The first quarter kind of um, got us a little bit. But all in all, not a bad day against a Big East opponent other than that we're disappointed that the, um, the outcome wasn't right. what, we, what we really, really wanted and expected. Well, we are going to roll the highlights and take a look at uh, the first half at Papa John's Cardinal Stadium as the Racers not only uh, started their season, Coach, but this was the actual first kickoff of any game of the 2011 season, and uh, the Racers returned it. That was, that was an exciting moment right there. It, it was, and um, what a great atmosphere for our boys to be able to play in. As you can see, Pat Robertson um, brings it out of the end zone, but we come out right out, out of the gates, and we wanted to get Mike Harris involved. We felt like um, that we were going to have to better run the ball consistently in this game to have any success, and, and I thought that our offensive line did a good job pretty much all night pass blocking and run blocking. And again, you can see Mike Harris on the zone play. And then this was the first first down of the season. Casey Brockman keeps mm -hmm. it on the quarterback draw. But one thing that plagued us early, Dave, is um, we were inconsistent in our short, our short passing game. We're forced to punt here. Um, a little rugby kick, sprinted out of the pocket, changed the block point. And then one thing you can't see is um, Dontrell Johnson, Dwayne Brady down there on the tackle, and actually Dontrell um, hurt his ankle on that play, and he Didn't was out play, for the yeah. rest of the game. Did play the rest of the night. So we go to uh, Louisville's first drive, and one thing the Racers' uh, defense was able to do, Coach, was force some turnovers in this game. Defense played outstanding. They forced four turnovers. Unfortunately, here we stop them. Um, they fake a punt. I tell you, a, a Good fakes, hard to stop. <laughs> it sure really and, um, is. Great job by Darian Skinner, 23 um, cornerback out of Tampa, Florida. And then I believe that Richard Beers um, out of Arizona, the senior defensive end, recovers the fumble to stop their first threat. So the Racers go back on offense. Uh, Casey Brockman was 17 out of 34. Uh, and he wasn't quite as sharp as we know he's going to be. Well, we dropped some balls, and plus, um, you know, their their defense is pretty good. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. But we're, again, we're just missing easy passes here, so we're forced to punt again. And um, again, I thought that Keenan um, really punted the ball well. And, yeah, eight punts, so 42 and yeah, a half. Way too many punts, yeah, but, but a right. good average. But we did a good job of placing them um, in, in the proper spots. Um, but but I, again, overall, the evening, our defense um, 
Golly, Dave, they played outstanding. We were played by poor field position. But you could see our guys really, really hustling around. Now Stein was the uh, starter at quarterback for Louisville. They've, they've had a, a camp where they were trying to decide and actually played all their quarterbacks, but seems like he's the guy. And then uh, Stein hits uh, uh, Radcliffe for the touchdown. First score of the game to make it 7-0, 5-10 uh, to go in the first quarter. And, uh, you know, uh, when, you, when you get a team driving on you like that and they start getting, getting some momentum, hard to stop them. Yeah, and they, they actually, they converted two third down plays in a row there. One of them on a, a very hard route to stop, an old jerk route on the goal line. But we, we played well at that mm -hmm. drive. Um, but again, offensively, just couldn't get anything going. And then here we, we, we dropped the snap on the punt, put ourselves in a, a bad position, and then Louisville capitalizes with a runoff tackle. Um, we're in man coverage and you don't get the ball spilled back inside. So we're down 14 nothing um, late in the first quarter, Dave. Yeah, and the racers were reeling here a little bit. This uh, with with under three minutes to go in the first quarter, so the racers have to punt it out of there again. Uh, and good coverage on the punt again. Good coverage. Um, Dwayne Brady was down there, and then Hannibal Buford had a great night covering kicks as well. Um, but we go to the second quarter. What about this play here? This is. Uh, Jeremy Wright for Louisville, man, moving the, the entire pile there. Yeah, but we had a lot of guys around the <laughs> yeah. ball, and then all of a sudden, um, this is their, they, they break contain, we have a good blitz, get a few guys free, and, and we're there to make the play, Dave, on the touchdown, um, but they just, they get a, get a, make the play a little better than we do, so we're down 21 nothing. Got a great drive going. And Bronco uh, was trying to throw that out of bounds, right? Yeah, and when you do that, you, you, you better make sure it gets out of bounds, but we come right back, Daryl Davis, the senior out of St. Louis, Missouri, uh, makes a fine interception to, to stall another Louisville drive. Um, so it, we turn it over, they turn it over, but now we do get a little bit of a drive there late in the, the, the quarter. We actually run our PAT field goal team on in and we kick a field goal with three seconds to go in the half. Um, and, and you know what, we're, we're feeling not right. bad, Dave. We're now 21-3, but I thought that, um, you know, other than those um, few miscues on, mm -hmm. on the special teams, boy, we're right there in the ball game. Yeah, the racers uh, getting on the board there at the end of the first half uh, gave them some encouragement, and the second half, they're going to like it a lot, especially the way the racers' defense play. We'll take a break here on the Race Report with Chris Hatcher and come back with more. Basically, it's about symmetry. I'm good. Be honest here, I mean. Ah, fuck it. I'm good. My bad. I'm good. I'm the man! I'm good. Ready? No! Men can take anything. I'm good. Except the taste of Diet Cola. Until now. Pepsi Max, the first Diet Cola for men. This is good. At New Wave Communications, we've made a commitment to provide the best in communication services to our customers and to provide a positive impact in the communities we serve, which is why we're thrilled to have won the prestigious Independent Operator of the Year Award, given each year to one cable company in the country for distinguished excellence in technology, operations, and community involvement. Thank you for giving New Wave the opportunity to serve your community. We truly appreciate your business. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Isaiah. You ready to get the season started? Coach, I can't wait. And if the fans thought they seen the racers offense last year, wait till they see the racers this season.
ready. We're ready. Racer One's ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Get your season tickets now. We are racers. Hi, folks, and welcome back to the Race Report with Chris Hatcher. We're going to roll the second half highlights and take a look at the game from Louisville from last Thursday night as uh, the racers came out and just played a splendid uh, second half coach. Uh, a defensive shutout in the second half, and actually their last touchdown was at 13-20 before half, so you shut them out for the last 43-20 of the game. Impressive stuff. Yeah, our defense um, was outstanding. you got to take your hat off to Coach Anders and his staff and um, the, how hard we played on the defensive side of the ball. You know, we come out, we have to kick to them. Um, we get a, a good kick. Um, we kick it where we want to. We miss a tackle, miss a tackle. And, and get great hustle here by Tyler LaVey, a senior captain out of California, mm -hmm. makes the tackle. And then our defense um, comes out threes and outs. I mean, you see we got good coverage, making the throwing lanes hard for them, force them to punt, and then they um, – kind to of arrogant it, here to, of Tried them, to fake it again. Um, that they tried to fake it on us. And um, Again, it's hard to stop a good fake punt, but Mike Harris is there to make the stop. And then we try to get something going. Got a great call here, reverse. And Dern, if they don't blitz mm -hmm. the corner, which is um, you know just a lucky call on their part, and they out they out called us there. And if um, that hadn't happened, it could have got very interesting because I believe that Pat um, may have still been running. Pat Robertson, the junior receiver out of Louisiana, but forced to punt again, Dave. Um, but tonight our defense. My goodness, um, here we force another turnover. So we come right back, and um, I, I believe that... Um, uh, Kevin Robinson recovered that fumble. There. Yep, Kevin, he's a junior college transfer out of up in the, the New York area. But we come back, we're going to try to take a shot deep here. And um, we snap the ball early before everybody's ready, and, and, and our, our line didn't hear the call. It got loud at times. Um, so we turn it right back over. They get a big run, and you can't see on, on this shot, but um, that's the junior defensive back. Victor Daniels forced that fumble with a great effort. And Daryl Davis um, recovered. Great effort by Victor to, to get the, the forced fumble. But um, offensively, you know, we ran the ball good. Here's the keeper with Casey Brockman, the junior from here in Murray. And um, a good, good run here by Mike Harris. Our line's blocking good. We're getting good blocking on the receiver play. Um, we finally hit a screen. Hannibal Buford, mm -hmm. junior from Miami, Florida, uh, makes a good good catch there, getting good blocking on the perimeter. And then early in the fourth quarter, we finally break one. And um, you that can see this. Great, from the, great run. Oh, David, uh, Mike's a really good player. I believe he had um, 100, a little 116 yards rushing on 26 carries, um, all hard-earned runs, great blocking downfield. And, um, you can see our guys are extremely excited. Um, we cut the lead down to 21-9 early in the fourth. We feel like we got a chance, um, but kind of indicative of our night. Couldn't sustain anything. We missed the extra point. That becomes the final score of the evening. But um, but you know what I thought in the last part of the game is very important that your that your defense didn't allow any more any more points from the Louisville Cardinals. They knew that they had a second half shutout going. Didn't they? Yeah, I mean they had really three quarters yeah. other than 15 seconds in the mm -hmm. second quarter. Um, they had them shut out, but we get going a little bit here. Here goes um, Javante Trotter, who had he's been yeah. hurt all the camp. He had seven catches. Comes in and, and really plays well, and um, we got a little momentum going, and, and they, of course, they intercept one, one of the third turnover of the day for us, which ended, um, which ended the night for us, but, um, again, no reason to hold our heads um, low. I think um, we can take a lot of positives from the ball game, more positive than negatives from the game on Thursday night. Dave. Well, it was great to get the season uh, kicked off and the Racers uh, played very, very hard against the Louisville Cardinals in the 21-9 loss. Another break here coming up from Stewart Stadium with head coach Chris Hatcher on the Racer Report. We'll be coming back a visit with running back Mike Harris. New Wave Advantage number three, the President's Club. This is Jim. Jim just signed up for New Wave's Tidal Wave package, giving him the best in television, internet, and telephone service. And at no extra cost, Jim is also enrolled in New Wave's President's Club. As a member, Jim gets exclusive access to a dedicated customer care team. Plus, Jim gets a free pay-per-view movie every month for a year, as well as other exclusive offers. Now Jim can enjoy all the best service and features that New Wave has to offer. The President's Club, another New Wave Advantage. Call today. I 
Isaiah, you ready to get the season started? Coach, I can't wait. And if the fans thought they seen the racers offense last year, wait till they see the racers this season. Ready. We're ready. Racer One's ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Get your season tickets now. We are racers. Murray Electric System is your hometown electric power and telecommunications provider. At Murray Electric, you'll experience superior customer service with phones answered 24 hours a day, seven days a week by our live operator. We provide Murray with reliable electric power, digital and high definition cable TV with DVR high-speed internet and excellent telephone service. Murray Electric System, serving with excellence since 1942. Hey Racer fans, don't forget to check out GoRacers.com, the official online home of Murray State Athletics. You can get all the stats from Racer football, plus photo galleries after each game, and videos and other things about the Racer football team at GoRacers.com. We're back here at Stewart Stadium on the Racer Report with Chris Hatcher. And uh, right now we want to take the chance to uh, show you a visit we had with Mike Harris, the senior running back from Tulsa, Oklahoma, after the game against Louisville last Thursday. Uh, Mike led the racers in rushing, and here's that report. We're here with Mike Harris, 26 carries, 116 yards for the racers, and a touchdown. And uh, Mike, tell me, as the defense was shutting out Louisville there in the second half, offensively you had to be thinking, this is our chance to get them right here. Uh, yeah, the defense did a great job today, stepping up. No, they look real good. They look real good. Offensively, we just couldn't we couldn't click. We couldn't get it going, but we'll get better at it next by next week. Just got to make you feel great to come out and have a, a great game like this to start off. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with our offensive line. Our, it started up front. Everything started up front. Offensive line, to me, I didn't think they had any busts. They, they played real great up front, and I'm, I'm impressed with the offensive line this year. Tell me about the heat tonight. I know for fans it was tough, but, my gosh, a lot of you guys uh, were just about to be drained out there. Yeah, I had to I had to go get an IV. A couple of us did. It was when we first came out. I heard it was about 100 degrees, and it was it was hotter on the field. Okay, so the racers go back to practice uh, this week and uh, got to get better. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get it together. We're gonna get it together. We our defense is looking like I said. Our defense looked real good. Our offense is looking good. A good look at a very fine young man, Mike Harris, and. Uh, uh, Coach, uh, he had a great game Thursday night against Louisville. He really solidified your running game, and that's what you needed to stay in that game last Thursday. Well, Mike's a, a fine player, and we, we've said that um, ever since he took over the start role uh, about the fourth game of the season last year. Um, tremendous balance, great vision. He's worked it hard over the offseason to get himself in, in really good shape. But, um, you know, we like to throw the ball a good bit. But um, the key to our attack is that running game. And um, the other night, you know, we, we had struggled throwing the ball, but we knew Mike was there to do a good job of running. And the other thing is, um, you know, he's, he's got a great offensive line that, that shields them out of there for him. And then uh, he knows that um, he's got a good guy backing him up in Dwayne Brady. So uh, Mike, um, he, he's got good ball skills. And we, boy, we sure are glad that we were able to pick him up when we first arrived as a coaching staff here, Dave. Yeah, he's kind of the quiet leader on this team. He's not, he's not real vocal. But as you can see in that interview, very, very well spoken. He's got a lot to say. Yeah, um, he, he doesn't say very mm -hmm. much. That's, you probably got yeah. more clips of him talking <laughs> on, 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 on the video than, um, than he has the whole time he's yeah. been here. But um, he's a well-mannered young man. He's a hard worker. Um, I think that he's gotten better at that, which has made him the player that he is. Um, but he did get elected team captain, too. That says a lot about his character and how the guys on the team perceive him. Okay, that's a good look there at Mike Harris. We're going to take another break here from, race, from Stewart Stadium with uh, head coach Chris Hatcher on the race report. When we come back, we had a chance to do a little tailgating, and we'll take you there next. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. 
At New Wave Communications, we've made a commitment to provide the best in communication services to our customers and to provide a positive impact in the communities we serve, which is why we're thrilled to have won the prestigious Independent Operator of the Year Award, given each year to one cable company in the country for distinguished excellence in technology, operations, and community involvement. Thank you for giving New Wave the opportunity to serve your community. We truly appreciate your business. Hi folks and welcome back to the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher. We're high above the field here at Roy Stewart Stadium where the Racers will play their home opener a week from Saturday against Tennessee State. We'll be talking about that a little bit later. Right now we uh, had a chance to uh, go to the tailgate area. Uh, lots of Racer fans up at Papa John's Cardinal Stadium last Thursday. Everybody having a great time and it was just such a festive atmosphere to what was going on because everybody knew not only was this uh, the beginning of the Murray State football season and all the anticipation we have for that, but it was also the very first uh, night overall for college football. We had a chance to talk to a lot of people as they were getting ready for Murray State in Louisville. Flags of Arizona, don't forget when no luck came out. I said, you get a hill to this time Okay, we're with uh, Trevor and Laurie here at the Murray State tailgate here at Papa John Stadium, and you guys have some very special news to tell everybody, right? It's our 21st anniversary today. Yeah. <laughs> it at a football game. Yeah, 21st wedding anniversary, and they're watching the racers. Uh, but my goodness, what an exciting era of football we're in right now with the, the hatch attack. Yeah, it's it's great. Uh, we. Of course, followed them last year, followed them all alone, but uh, but this just the style is a great great to watch, great for the fans. And now with Murray State President Dr. Randy Dunn here at the tailgate section, getting ready to play the Cardinals tonight. Uh, Dr. Dunn, is there a better thing than being opening up on opening night? We've got the first kick. I say the first football game to to kick off this season. There isn't anything more exciting. You know, different people have asked me uh, about you know working as a university president, what I like about it. There are those kind of seminal moments throughout the course of the year. Start of schools one, commencement of course is another. But when you're on a football campus, a night like this is just another one of those. And even though it's a little warm tonight, Dave, uh, just a wonderful opportunity to be out with so many of our alums here in Louisville. And I'm just enjoying every minute of it I really am well and when the game starts tonight we're gonna see our team take the field and we got so much pride in our football team yeah we absolutely do and of course there's a little bit of uh, added fun here given the fact that at least we had one analyst pick us as a winner <laughs> I know the Las Vegas line isn't quite as kind as, as Pat Ford was yeah. but uh, we, that gives a little more reason to just get in there and cheer all the harder tonight and and uh, we're gonna have a good contingent here uh, as, as we can see for the game so it'll be a lot of fun thank you dr. Dunn thanks Dave. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Well, as you can see from uh, that report, a lot of people having a great time, and it's it's great to see people traveling with Murray State football and uh, just having a great time. And coach, uh, your your staff and your players have, have gone a long way in making racer football fun again, and it's great to see. You know, President Dunn is there. We have people celebrating their winning anniversary. It's just a great time being around the football team. Football te season is a great time. I mean, you only get so many opportunities. And uh, the, to me, the tailgating and the, the atmosphere outside the stadium leading up to the actual game is what makes it such a, a wonderful event. It's good to see we had a good following of Murray State folks at the ball game. Uh, we one thing we haven't mentioned on the show is we debuted our new uniforms and oh, uh, with, right, with our yeah, helmets. And, and and helmets. And, um, got a lot of good compliments on that, and it really looked good on the TV. So, um, I, you know, again, we're trying to change the culture, the attitude, create excitement within our program. And, and when you are at a smaller level um, operation like you know the FCS is, you have to do all the things outside of just actually right. having a good team to get the energy and enthusiasm with our program. And right now, I think um, we're headed in the right direction, Dave. Oh, absolutely, and I know everybody's excited about 
a week from Saturday is the Murray State home opener against Tennessee State. That's going to be a 6 p.m. kickoff here at the stadium. And you talk about some tailgating. We want you to come out and tailgate a week from Saturday on the 17th. Well, we're going to take our final break here from Stewart Stadium on the Race Report with Chris Hatcher. When we come back, we're going to take a look at the games that are coming up for the Murray State Racers. New Wave Advantage number three, the President's Club. This is Jim. Jim just signed up for New Wave's Tidal Wave package, giving him the best in television, internet, and telephone service. And at no extra cost, Jim is also enrolled in New Wave's President's Club. As a member, Jim gets exclusive access to a dedicated customer care team. Plus, Jim gets a free pay-per-view movie every month for a year, as well as other exclusive offers. Now Jim can enjoy all the best service and features that New Wave has to offer. The President's Club, another New Wave Advantage. Call today. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Murray Electric System is your hometown electric power and telecommunications provider. At Murray Electric, you'll experience superior customer service with phones answered 24 hours a day, 7 days a week by our live operator. We provide Murray with reliable electric power, digital and high definition cable TV with DVR, high speed internet and excellent telephone service. Murray Electric System, serving with excellence since 1942. Well, we're back here at uh, Roy Stewart Stadium. We're actually in the President's Box this week. This is on the fifth floor, and you can see the, the field behind us, and the racers will be opening up their home part of the season a week from Saturday against uh, Tennessee State. And Coach, let's take a look at the schedule. Uh, the game against Mississippi Valley uh, Saturday is on the Racer Television Network, and then we've got the home opener on the 17th. And then it's a Thursday night game at UT Martin, and then back at home to start October against Jacksonville State. Uh, you, you take them one at a time right now, and the next game is Mississippi Valley State. Uh, it'll be in Mississippi. We're playing a, a Southwestern uh, Athletic Conference team. Uh, they got handled pretty well against Alabama State last week, 41 to, to 9. All field goals. What, what's your preliminary look at uh, what the, the Delta Devils have down there? First of all, we, we got to travel well. We got about a five and a half hour ride down there. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit different no matter whom you play this time of year after coming from a, a you know, a big time college environment like Louisville, 50,000 folks watching you. And then, you know, you go back to playing in front of a, a, a three to 10,000 type crowd. So um, we're going to have to travel well. Uh, my big thing is always, let's always play to our level. No matter who we play, Let's play the best we can each and every week, Dave. And that's what I'm stressing again this week with our guys. Um, you know, Mississippi Valley has great tradition. Jerry Rice, some play there. Um, their coach, Carl Morgan, is a friend of mine. He used to be the defensive coordinator at North Alabama back in my Division two days. Um, and, and we had some battles with him. So um, we understand that we're back to play in our level of competition. And if we want to have a championship-type season, you know, each week from here on out, I guess you could say that our real season starts on Saturday down in, in, in the Delta. Well, we're looking forward to it and hope that you'll make your plans uh, to watch us on the Racer Television Network if you're not going down to the game. And, of course, a week from Saturday, we got the home opener against Tennessee State. Coach, thanks for stopping by. Hey, Dave. Thank you, bud. Okay, we'll see you next time on the Racer Report. Harris up the middle, has some room, cuts. He's inside the five. He'll score. Mike Harris from 22 yards out. and the.